Hi, this is the regular monthly meeting of the Clayton Development and Industrial Commission. This meeting is being recorded for playback on Channel 9 and the Clayton YouTube channel. I'd like to call the meeting to order. I have 603. Um, if we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, I'm just going to move these mics over. Just done that before. Um, this is going to be a short meeting. Um, the first item was uh, discuss the finance committee review. I just want to let you know that. Uh, we're, we're on the agenda this Thursday at 7.50 p.m. to meet with the Finance Committee. Um, we had stayed with our $1,000 request for funding, level funding. So um, I'll just be, I, I'll be appearing there and, you know, just join what we're talking about for why, you're, why we're asking for that. Um, the next one, I'd actually, because Paul and John are not able to come tonight and we don't have Joe either yet, so I just wanted to table it, which was the idea that um, Rainham apparently, according to John, because he's been uh, in contact with them, their development industrial commission or the equivalent of it, um, does like welcome packets to all new businesses in town. I don't know what's in there and that sort of thing. I mean, we do, or the town clerk on our behalf does um, distribute invitation for them to be posted on the Dighton directory to be interviewed in our spotlight series. Um, not the same as maybe something a little bit even more personal, which is just a welcome and invitation to advertise on our Facebook page or the town's page. If they do have a grand opening, not everybody does, but if they did, um, but maybe if we can just table that and we can talk about the details of what we would do, if we wanted to do that at the next meeting and everybody's here. Um, the next item on the agenda was to discuss an update on the Gotham Greens discussion. This is something that John had been pursuing. So he reached out to a company called Gotham Greens. They are hydroponic farmers. Um, they just grow greenery. Um, they started off years ago um, on growing it on rooftops in cities. Um, they've grown quite a bit since then. They have a facility in Providence. Um, John got an interview with their CEO. Um, they are actually very interested in coming to Dighton. He's, they asked for a copy of our economic development plan and any places that John thought would be potential sites for them. Uh, however, they are looking for like 70 to 100 acres. So I sent them, I, we, there are a few places like that in town. Some of them probably wouldn't fit the bill for wetland reasons or other reasons, but there are some possibilities. So I sent John a list of all the 50 plus acre parcels in town. Um, and so he's gonna forward that along to um, Gotham Greens and they wanna follow up with him in a few weeks. Um, they said they're probably not immediately looking to build because they're right now standing up something out in California but they need to be focused back here again because they like to stay really local to the distribution areas. So they're looking for places that'll serve the Northeast that'll be easy for distribution. So mm -hmm. um, John, will hopefully we'll have some updates for us at the next meeting on that. Um, Do they grow organic? Well, hydroponic, and I assume it's organic. I don't know. I don't think hydroponic can be organic. By right? definition. Mm. Okay, so I don't know enough about it, so. Why not? Something about what's the stuff that they need to put into the water. I could be wrong, but I've heard discussions they can, about- they can use rainwater to develop into- One of the nutrients. And also the, there's a lot of organic soil now. She means they fertilizer. Can, there's also a lot of organic fertilizers available now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Um, the next one, which, Unless people want to talk about, um, you know, we might want to table that one too, was we had gone through all the items that were in the economic development plan, picked out the ones we thought that impacted us and that we would like to work on, and then asked people to look at it to see if there are any that stood out to them that they would like to personally work on. 
I know that um, a couple of people had raised their hands for a few of them. Um, Paul, in regards to um, putting together a list of town land that could potentially be leased for agriculture. Um, uh, John wanted to, and he also wanted to look at the permitting guidelines and like uh, see if we can improve the way they're written. Uh, Paul raised his hands for something. Um, you had raised your hands too for um, echo, about eco tourism, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, but since we're missing three members, you know, maybe it'd be better to have that discussion too when when they are here. Um, and the last thing was the spotlight interview with the assessor's department has now been pushed to April 13th. So Paul is going to be interviewing. Um, the head of the assessor's department, maybe one member of the board will join them. Um, and that'll be taped and then aired on channel nine and on the Dighton YouTube, like the other spotlight videos we've been doing. Um, I don't have any correspondence and we don't have any um, public input. I did distribute a copy of the meeting minutes for February 26th. I have a copy here if people want it or I read them. Um, if not, we can take a vote on whether to approve those. Do anyone want to make that motion? A motion to approve motion. February 26. Do I have a second? I second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And set our next meeting day. Do we stick with the fourth Monday of the month? That would be April 22nd at 6 p.m. Do I have a motion to set our next meeting for that date? So moved. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, I did just want to make a note that um, Mr. Hulls, well, this will be his last meeting with us. He'll be rotating off of the Board of Selectmen. He's been the liaison here. Um, I did want to thank him both for coming each month and participating and joining and giving us your advice, but also this committee actually wouldn't be here without him because we had fallen off the... Uh, We've fallen by the wayside, basically, as a group. Um, and then he personally saw the need for it and reconstituted this group, reached out, brought members together, and stood it back up again. So I'd like to thank him for that and for everything he's done for us. And hopefully, if we have an opening down the road, you might want to come back and join us again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, no. I, I appreciate kind words, but I do want to say you, Mr. Higgins, have done a lot to take this committee from where it was to a committee now that has an impact on the town in a very positive way. No, oh, thank you. And you've helped businesses. You've also, this group has saved the town a lot of money. They can't afford urban planners. And, and there are people in the liaisons we have with Taunton Chamber and with Serpent that have had a major impact and brought some great ideas today. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you all. Um, does anybody has anything else to bring up? Um, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor, aye. All in favor, aye. <laughs> aye. All right. Uh, meeting adjourned. All right. Thank you. Good night, table. What's up?